Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video and joining me for this full body workout. We're gonna get straight into it, starting off with the side lunge to high knee. For the start of the workout, we're actually joined by my temporarily adopted cat, Mew Mew. She's a cutie, so enjoy her while she's here. And we'll get straight into it, ready and go. So with this exercise, you're lunging out to the side, then you're coming back to center, shifting that weight onto the other leg, and then jumping up for the high knee. Now that weight shift is really important because I don't want you to try and pop up to the high knee from the lunge position. So really bring your feet back together and then bring that knee high up into the air as you pop up off the floor. Um, thank you so much for clicking on this video and actually getting up and doing the workout with me, by the way. It's so awesome when you make time to look after your body, get those endorphins. It is so, so good for your health. And I'm, I'm really proud of you and I'm so grateful um, that you're doing this workout with me. It's just, it's just amazing. You're, you're great. Well done for showing up for you. Okay, nearly there? Done. Let's go and smash it. Well done. Cool. We'll do the same thing on the other leg. So again, lunging out to the side feet back together before we pop up, driving that knee up. Um, so this is a full body workout, we're doing 45 seconds, 15 seconds of rest and go. Making sure that you're keeping good form. So with this, I do want your weight to stay uh, uh, to the heels and midfoot. So I don't want your weight coming forward onto your tiptoes when you're out in that lunge position. Uh, this means that the knee doesn't fall too far forward in front of the foot and that the hips are back. You're squeezing the glutes, squeezing the quads and you bring the feet together and really drive that knee nice and high, driving the arms as well as you go. Working the thighs here, working the inner thighs, getting a little bit breathless too. You're doing so well, Neva. Relax, great job. Then we're coming down onto the mat in the plank position to do some plank to toe reaches. So reaching the opposite arm to the opposite foot. Doing a high plank, ready and go. So you'll feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes uh, when you're back almost in the downward dog position, almost like a one-handed downward dog if you do yoga and you're familiar with that. Um, so you'll feel a nice stretch in the calves and the hamstrings. Uh, but I want you to make sure that you're coming back to a good plank position. So really engaging the core, hands below shoulders, body in something of a straight line uh, from shoulder through to hip, through to knees. Uh, keep going, you're doing so well. Really working the whole body here, especially the upper body and the core. Nearly there. Easy, or not so easy, but you made it look easy. Well done. <laughs> Next move, we've got some mountain climbers. Oh my goodness. Can someone please tell me when I will find mountain climbers easy? I did these the other day and oh, I can't remember. All right, and go. So again, that plank position, hands below, shoulders, good core, engaged, nice and tight, bringing those knees up in front. It's like horizontal high knees. So you're really running through it. Um, you can walk through it though as well if you want, so if you don't want as much impact or as much kind of noise even, uh, you can just bring that knee up slowly and walk one leg and then the other. I t generally find that just as hard because <laughs> uh, you're still really getting uh, that upper body working and the core working. But you're doing so well, just breathe through it. Only five more seconds. survived it well done then we're going to do some tricep dips so grab a bench or a chair or your sofa second step of your staircase we're just going to dip down you can also do these without a raised platform if you want just pop your hands behind you and go so if you want to make these harder you can stretch the legs out in front and um, if you want to make them easier bring your feet uh, as close even under your bottom uh, but either way we're lowering the weight of the body down and then we're pushing back up really working the triceps here I find these so so challenging I literally did two moves in a row that I just find so difficult like someone tell me when my triceps are going to get stronger oh I'll tell you when very soon because I'm working on it and so are you so keep lowering down pushing back up you're getting stronger with every single rep these things take time, but the science works. You keep pushing yourself, you get stronger. Oh, 
you'll be like, wow, I'm so glad I do that, did that, and relax. Then we're doing some Russian twists. You know, seeing a genuine change takes time, but it is worth it and go. Feet up off the ground, twisting side to side, working the obliques, working the core here. Make sure you keep a nice long neck. I don't want your shoulders hunched. Relax those shoulders down. You're doing so well. Doing these Russian twists and doing them excellently well. It's about that consistency. I'm right here with you. Smashed it, well done. Then we're gonna do elbow to knees. So coming back onto the mat, twisting the elbow to the opposite knee. And we're doing double taps of this, okay? So two taps each way and go. So touch, touch, switch. Tap, tap, switch. So really working the obliques here, working the core, try and keep the legs lifted up off the ground. I know your core is tired from the last exercise, but you're tougher, you're tougher than this. So you can do this, keep going. It's all about this moment, just giving it your best each moment that passes. This is only 15 minutes. That is not a long time and you can do it. You're very strong, you've got this. Feels longer when you're doing these, right? <laughs> and relax, well done. Smashed it, see, it's over. When you thought you couldn't get through it, you got through it. You're proving to yourself time and time again how incredible you are. Okay, next up, we've got some star jumps, making a beautiful, beautiful star and go. Or like jumping jacks, I feel like Americans tend to call them jumping jacks. So lifting the hands way up over the head, feet out to the side, keep it moving, really working the upper body here, getting nice and breathless, burning some K cows. You're doing so well. I love doing hit workouts like this. Short and sweet, but super effective. relax well done smash it then we're gonna do an elbow to knee skip so up on our feet keeping the shoulders nice and high upper body stays high we turn through the waist and go so my hips stay facing the front it's my upper body that's twisting side to side but that knee is coming all the way up to the elbow i'm not bending down and dragging that elbow down no i'm keeping good posture my core is engaged and it's that knee that's coming up and the elbow is twisting to the side the elbow doesn't come down it turns to the side as the knee comes up skipping from side to side again you can walk through this if you want still getting a super effective workout in you're doing so well it's all about going for it pushing yourself and taking part this is where you see the benefit this is where we create the change that we want and we become our own goals and relax well done coming down onto the mat next for some press ups so you can do press ups like i'm doing them here with your knees out behind bending at the knees or you can bring the knees under the hips to make it a bit easier or you can stretch all the way out and go or you can stretch all the way out in a plank position so you're taking the whole weight of your body and lowering it down. Either way, I want you to use good technique so the core is engaged and we're lowering the upper body down so that the nose just sniffs, just, you know, just hovers a little bit above the mat. And then we push back up, really working the chest, the upper body. Keep going, you're doing so well. We're toning the upper body here, building muscle, which is so good. So, so good for your health. 
Get in as many reps as you can. And relax, excellent job. Next up, we've got the reverse toe touch. So coming onto our back, uh, we're gonna lift up one leg, lift up the opposite arm, touching opposite arm to opposite toe. And go. If you wanna make this a little bit easier, if you find it hard to have two limbs off the floor at once, that's absolutely fine. I just want you to lift the legs one at a time instead. Staying nice and strong through the upper body, nice long neck, we're not hunching the shoulders, keeping your balance, reaching up. You're doing so well. That's another thing about working out and pushing through. Even when you want to stop, you get back up and you carry on. And every time you do that, you prove to yourself that you have the mental strength to get through this. A lot of working out is more than just physical strength, it's also mental strength, and you've 100% got that. And relax, great job. Then we're coming back onto the mat, uh, or putting our backs back on the mat, <laughs> uh, with some straight leg crunches. So we're doing these side to side to really work the obliques, legs straight up in the air, ready and go. So my elbows are like tucking in beside my head, um, and I'm just like crunching up, trying to get my upper body or my elbows to tuck past the legs really working the core here trying not to lower down my upper body at all it's side to side but we keep it moving we keep it moving you're doing so well keep going it is just amazing to me how effective no equipment home workouts can be the exact reason why I made a whole workout plan that you can get by the way the link is in my bio or in my bio on Instagram or in the description box of this video and relax those are the workouts that I've been doing while the gyms have been closed and um, through lockdown so they're full on uh, half an hour to 40 minute workouts uh, you can have use equipment or no equipment and it's just amazing and I love hearing about all the amazing results you guys are seeing ready and go with the next move it is some forearm single leg lift so forearm stand single leg lift so um the palms are flat on the floor you're in a downward dog position but lower down onto the elbows onto the forearms and you're going to lift one leg up at a time so really squeezing the glutes here feeling a nice stretch And if you are working on a forearm stand at the moment, I am. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen my 200 days of stretching challenge, which has been going really well, actually. I'm very much enjoying it, getting much more flexible. Um, this movement actually really helps building strength in the upper body and the shoulders to be able to do a forearm stand. And relax, well done. And then we're doing some leg work here now with an up, down, squat, jump. So you want to kneel and come up to a squat position before jumping up and go. So the aim of this is to stay nice and low when you're in that kneeling position. Then come nice and high in the squat jump before coming nice and low again. I want you to switch which leg you start on each time. So one time it'll be the left leg that comes up first. The next time it'll be the right leg that comes off first. Uh, comes up into the kneeling position first only because you know that does kind of affect things uh, so the leg that comes up first is doing quite a bit of the work um, but you're doing a nice strong squat jump you can do a squat if you don't want to do a jump and you, you're welcome to just do a squat again still still working really well still working the glutes and hamstrings and quads landing well in that squat position weight through the heels to midfoot and relax, great job. Now it's the last movement of the workout. Goodness me, you've got this. We're doing some walkout single leg press up. So walking out in front, lowering the body down, lifting one leg and go. So lift one leg, lower the body down, then you walk back towards your toes, feeling the stretch in the glutes and the hamstrings. So don't uh, neglect that. You can bend at the knee a little bit if you need to and again you can come down onto your knees for the press up instead if you'd rather but we're just teasing, teasing the upper body with a little challenge here. Lifting one leg up, working that glute. Again keeping good form in the press ups. Lower that nose down to the floor so it's just hovering above and then push back up. You can do it. You're so strong and capable. You've got this. 
Give it your all for the last few seconds. And you did it. Well done. Absolutely smashed it. I'm so proud of you. You completed this workout. You did so well. Let me know how you found it. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. Share this channel with a friend. And I will see you very soon. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs>